Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In this tutorial, guys, I'll have the EcoWorthy and this is the EcoWorthy um, solar system. And as you can see, this is the inverter. And of course, if you have a similar system with this particular inverter, you can see the inverter um, here properly. This is the um, charge controller. And of course, if you have this system, today I'll show you how to fix the issue where your um, eco worthy or it could be another um, solar system it's beeping all right so if you're getting a error beep or what sounds like an error beep this tutorial will be for you now the first thing you want to do if you're getting a annoying beep or error beep you want to check for the error code so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and check for the error code now of course you can check your charge controller and you look out for this it will be in red in most cases red indicating a fault and of course you can see this similar looks like a exclamation sign and this will be lit up red now if you do not get or see a error message here or you see red or a fault then of course it might not be that there is a error now um, in this particular case I should just fix a very specific um, error where I was getting the error noise but no error indicator so there was no error indicator here um, this is specific to the eco worthy but could apply to other um, controllers as well next thing you want to check is next you want to check the inverter you want to check for error codes on the inverter do forgive me um, this is set in an odd position but you can see uh, the display shows the voltage 1318 VDC shows the battery and if there is no error here or if there's no wine, then it's not uh, here that the problem would be. Now, in my case, I was getting an error noise and there was no error because, of course, there was no indicator of the error. Now, if you have this specific um, solar system and you're getting the noise, constant beeping, um, the next thing you want to check is your battery level. In other words, check to see if your battery has gone into a low state. Now, of course, um, you got to refer to your manual and the VDC here is 13.24 and that's plenty of charge and you can see the indicator there showing that the battery has enough juice. But more specifically, the 13.27 um, indicator indicates that this has enough charge. You can also verify on your charge controller here. Notice it says battery voltage 13.7. So if you're not... Um, like 12 or close to 12 or 11 which would be complete depletion on a 12.8 volt battery um, or, um, that would mean that the source of the issue is most likely something else all right so in my case my problem was and you can try this with yours as well i was getting the error message and there was no error and what i found out is that this additional um, piece might be different for yours but it's worth a try and this is the extension piece in case you have the inverter installed somewhere you can have this at another location to view and control so as you can see here it says 13.30 and of course you can control the menus and so on from this um, in my case it was this that was causing the error so what i found out is that if i disconnect this i'll show you how to do that in a minute so simply go back here in my case the eco worthy i found that if i disconnected this just give me a second and i disconnected it and simply leave it off um in my case i didn't really need it i found out that was the source of my error i don't know if it's a faulty um faulty piece but in my case as soon as i remove that um i found that the beeping would stop another thing you want to do also is to um you can disconnect your loads and then um, restart your inverter. Once you restart and refresh the inverter, you'll find that the beeping or the error is gone. All right, so that's in the case of the eco worthy. Some other things you can do to stop the beeping. Um, the beeping could be an indicator that your device is overloaded. What I suggest is that let's say, for example, here, this is a 2000 watt inverter, meaning all of the devices that are connected, they should not exceed in terms of their wattage use should not exceed 2000 watts now of course if you have very heavy loads on i suggest in that case you power all of them down disconnect everything 
start again and connect each load starting from the smallest to the biggest and you can check your stickers and so on for the wattage make sure it doesn't exceed 2000 watts um, you'll have to back off some stuff and once you back off some stuff chances are if it's that you're overloading the inverter it should um, stop the error or stop the um, the beeping another thing similar to the first that worked for me for the eco worthy you can disconnect all accessories momentarily in case one of those are causing the error so if you have a Bluetooth uh, module, you can remove that temporarily, temporarily. And of course, anything else that's a peripheral, that's not the um, physical inverter or um, in this case, charge controller. So disconnect every accessory. As I said, reduce your loads. Maybe you're overloading the inverter. Next thing, make sure that you are not overloading as well. Your um, charge controller which is the MPPT here. Make sure that you have the adequate amount of panels and they're configured correctly because it might be a case where um, you're overloading this as well. So make sure that is configured correctly. Next thing you can do as well is to check all of your terminal connections. So for example here, as it relates to your connections, make sure they're tight, make sure there is no corrosion, make sure that everything is nice and snug. And of course, just check your battery terminals make sure that they're tight as well you can remove them reconnect them so there might be a loose fitting that's causing the error or the beep now of course if you try all of these i've found in most cases that you're able to deal with the issue also you can check the manual check the error codes and of course if it's a beeping um, check the code in terms of what are some of the conditions for the beeping and you could also um, try to use those but if you try most of what i've suggested just now you should be able to deal with the problems in most cases. Also, do note, if it's a case where you have drained your battery, the error light may come on. And if you're getting an error light in your case, make sure that you disconnect all the loads, power off your, um, power off your inverter, and fully charge your battery before trying to um, power any devices. Once you do that, what you could do is make sure that once everything is okay and your battery is back up, such as um, 13 um, voltage is back to 13 and above, right? Close to fully charged. Then, of course, you could try pouring your load. Then, of course, the error will disappear and the battery will be, if you are green, to indicate it can be powered on, then you can power on. So, another reason for the beeping could be that you have depleted your battery. When the battery is depleted, the system will beep. But, of course, you'll get the error light. And of course, if it shuts down and can't be powered on, you'll lose this green light until the battery builds back up. Then you'll get the green light and you can power back on. And in those cases, if you're draining the battery too fast, um, reconsider your loads, um, remove some stuff and try powering them again from the smaller stuff. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any direct questions, I can help you below. So this has been how to deal with the eco or the other similar um, solar systems, how to deal with a problem where you're having the issue where your device is overloaded and you're getting an error, whether it's a false error due to a device connected, or of course a real error in terms of the battery has run down or something else causing the error. If you have any questions, as always, Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye.